Hey guys, and welcome back to our Back to Basics series here on Farm Sim 19. Today we are going to continue looking at the animals, and specifically we are going to take a look at cows. So right in front of you, we pretty much have lined up most of what you're going to need in order to care for cows in an optimal fashion. Some of this stuff may not need exactly if you have other items, but in general this is going to be kind of the core of what you're going to need here for cattle. Last time when we looked at chickens, we had already placed the animal pin. This time I want to go ahead and put it down with you guys. To do that, we're going to need to get some cash. Good. So, just like the chickens, we have two different types are two different sizes of cow pastures. We have the standard cow pasture, which costs $100,000 to buy, holds 50 cows, and costs $100 per day. We have the large cow pasture, which holds 200 cows, and costs $300 per day. And see down here, this is what the cow pasture is gonna require for cows. And we'll talk a little bit about those that this we're just going to put down the standard cow pasture and wow that is a lot bigger than our little old chicken pen take up a lot of space rotate this and first thing you'll notice is you can only rotate it one of four ways and that is because of the manure pile that is a part of this particular building also going to see that we have trigger markers on the well on three of the four sides of this building. You need to make sure that we do have a way of getting around three of the four sides of this building. So I'm going to put this down. I'm going to block the well right here. Go. You see, when we put this down, we got ourselves some grass, got dirt areas, and really did a number on our side of our hill over here. And I want to come through here at some point and kind of smooth this down a little bit. Get nice and neat. Let's talk about this cow pin a little bit. Right here, this is where the manure is going to spawn as our cows produce manure. Where we're going to get our liquid manure, our, our slurry, come out of this pit here. Ooh, that's pretty nasty. Our cows are going to require straw. So this is where we're going to put our straw. Cows require water. This is our water trough. And identify the water trough because it always has a rounded bottom to it. Round bars. It's going to be where we can buy our cows. Hit the R button. See we have an option of how now brown cow, brown and white cow, black cow, black and white cow. Then we have four different types of Brahmin. Brown, white, light brown, and gray. All of these cows basically do the same thing. So in the base game, the only difference is visual for our cattle. We have the food trough. Food trough is going to be identified because it is a flat bottom. It has square bars. Very, very similar to the chicken trough in the fact that it has a flat bottom. On the back here, where we're going to get our milk for our cows. So let's go ahead and buy a couple cows from here, and then I want to show you how we get them delivered, or how we can deliver our cows. Well, let's say we want to buy five 
brown cows. Cost us twelve thousand five hundred dollars to do that, and a thousand dollar delivery fee. There they are. There's our five cows. Now, in order to basically not have to pay the delivery fee, we're going to need to use we're going to need to use an animal trailer, and we have just so happen to have this Joskins trailer here. We go to the shop, and we go to tools, then animal transport. This is the trailer that we have. We can haul six cows with this trailer. We have a semi-trailer. We'll haul 14 cattle. Then we have this Silver Star, which, interesting enough, only hauls 12 cattle. It is actually a double-decker trailer. So this should haul a whole lot more. There is a mod out there that has basically doubled the capacity of this. So you haul 24 cows. I think it might be a little bit more appropriate. In fact, this hauls 14 and this hauls 12. At any rate, let's go ahead and get this hooked up to a tractor. And we'll drive up to Animal Dealer. Which on this map is basically just south of Field 16. Not too far of a drive from where we are now. Take of brevity, I won't uh, keep you along the entire ride. Bring you back as we get close. And here we are. So the animal dealer up on top of this hill, at least for this map. And we have this big hashed area. What we want to do is we want to put a trailer into the hashed area. We want to hit the R button. And you can see that this animal dealer deals in pigs, sheep, cows, horses, and no chickens. Like I said, we cannot haul chickens. So we've got brown cows. So let's get some black. Let's get some black and white cow. We're going to load this trailer up with our six. $15,000, and you'll see there is no fee associated with this because we are picking them up on our own. There's our six cattle. With our trailer, we can take the, the roof off with the N E. Go ahead and haul them back to the farm. And what we're going to do is we're going to want to back our trailer up or pull our trailer into the animal dealer here, or the animal delivery trigger. And we're going to want to hit R. And now we're going to unload our black and white cows into the farm area. I'm going to double click on those. Basically transfer them over. Confirm. They are now out of the animal trailer and we're going to see them in the pen our brown and white cows our brown cows and our black and white cows now let's talk about their animal their food needs click the animal screen down here we have our cow pasture. We have five brown cows and six black and white cows. So they're going to need a lot. So they need either, either or, not including, feed them grass, feed them hay or silage, or we can feed them total mixed rations. Down here you'll see if we feed them grass, they are 25% effective. Grass is by far the easiest way to feed these, these cattle, but they're least effective with grass. You can feed them hay or silage, they're 75% effective. Or we can feed them total mixed rations, which makes them 100% effective. Now, if you have food in multiple food types, Okay, so let's say you fed them grass because that's all you had 
initially. Then later you come back and feed them hay. They will stop eating the grass and they'll start eating the hay. Only time they'll eat the grass is if they run out of hay. So it is completely a waste of time to feed them all three. Pick the one that you're going to feed and feed that. Feed that only. Later you have the ability to feed, let's say, total mixed rations. Then feed that and stop putting just hay or silage in or stop putting grass in because they're not going to touch it. Now the 10-foot pole because they've got the best food possible in the total mixed rations. Also need straw and water. Also need to keep them clean. They will reproduce. They will make manure, produce slurry, and they'll produce milk. Let's get them some water. So we have two choices to get water. Go to the tools, animals. There is an in-game Joskins water trailer. All it transports is clean water. Then we have an MKS-8 trailer. Now it transports clean water and milk. I have one of each because I'm going to put water in the Joskin trailer and I'm going to eventually put milk in this particular trailer here. I don't, I don't really want to hold by the philosophy of using one trailer for both because what if uh, the trailer has water in it and you want to haul milk? Well, you can't because it's full of water. You have a larger transport trailer, a semi version of the MKS-8. MKS 32 that also takes water and milk. Those are our three in game options for water, and there are two in game options for milk. I'm going to go get water, and on this particular map, there's a couple of different ways of getting water. I'm going to go down here and get it out of the pond. Or we could put down a water tank and get it from there. To get water from a water source on a map, typically you would back the trailer up to that particular water source. And sometimes you need to get in the water, sometimes you just need to get close. And what you want to do is you want to see the F1 menu where it says start filling, refill water trailer R. We're going to do that. See, we're getting water in the trailer and our money is not going down. Good point where you that contrast. So the pond water here is in effect free. A full water trailer does have more weight, so you definitely want to make sure you've got a tractor that is powerful enough to get up out of this hole if you're on this particular map. Just pull along the water trough here. Get a start unloading I. Hit the I button. And we'll see water start to fill into the trough. And once it's full, it will stop or we'll basically run out of water. Whatever comes first. It took the whole volume of water. Let's check and see how short we are. So we're short of it just a little bit, but that's okay. We won't be docked productivity by being a little short on the water. The next thing we need to do is we need to give them straw. So to do that, we need a straw blower. Several different ways of blowing straw into the cow area. 
can use bales. If we have bales of straw, we're going to need to use a straw shredder. If we have loose straw, then we can just dump it in with a, a loading wagon. I want to demonstrate both of those for you. So here I've got a bale shredder. Take a look at those in the shop. Go to animals. Scroll over here. We're going to see this is a machine that takes straw bales and uses them to cover the ground in the cow stable straw. And if we see here, this says L218C232. That is a skid steer. Well, that particular version is for skid steer. This particular version, the FZ30 and FZ60, is for front loaders. And then this particular version is for telehandlers. Okay, so you want to make sure you buy the version that is right for you. Also have this Kuhn option. This is also a straw blower. A bit more expensive for sure. And if we have the Anderson DLC, then we have a third option for a straw blower in this little thing. More expensive, yet still. So this straw blower is pretty cool how it works. So it's a little complicated in the fact that we have included with this some pallet forks. You'll see up there in the top, we've got three little quarter circles. First quarter circle will basically let us detach the front loader arm. Second quarter circle will let us detach the blower entirely. First quarter circle there will let us detach bale spikes. Okay? If you have this type of straw blower, you don't need to buy bale spikes. It basically comes with a set. Stabber straw. Place it within straw blower. Back it out. And then basically come up here with a Q to connect. And now we can put the business end toward cow area. Be careful not to knock your bail out. And this is heavy. You may want to put a weight on the back. And basically, we now get overload in the straw. If you get into this trigger and you don't get that overload into straw message, then just cycle G a few times. Make sure you're on the right implement. And we hit I. And now we're loading straw into the pin. And we can use the left mouse button to... D. Sure why it's not letting us left mouse button but we could change the angle of this blowing straw in while it's blowing straw in let's check our cow pasture and you can see the straw level is slowly climbing so each bale is 4,000 liters this number of cows is going to take more than one straw bale we're out of that now let's demonstrate how you would use loading wagon. Next. Get under our hayloft, we'll hit R, and we'll load up a straw. be good enough if we want to do loose then we just pull our loading wagon into this area we 
hit I unload and you can see in the cow pen the straw layer kind of raise up all right there we go now we have straw and if we look at our animal area now have water and straw now all we have to do is worry about food so if we had grass either in loose format in a loading wagon or in a bale format we could bring that over to the food trough if we wanted to if we had a bale of hay or loose hay we can basically use the loading wagon and put that into food trough area but what I want to do is I'm going to mix up a load of total mixed rations that is the best food possible for our cows and I'm going to use this Silo King TMR mixer to do that TMR total mixed rations go to tools and then animals we have the Silo King trailed line duo 1814 this makes total mixed rations 16,000 liters we have a coon night mixer also does the same thing but it holds just under 12,000 liters and if you happen to have the Anderson DLC then there are a couple even larger mixers here that you could get I like this trailed duo for the sole reason of the fact that it holds 16,000 liters which is absolutely perfect for our silage mix or little mixed rations mix what we're going to do is we're going to use one bale of hay there we're going to do two bales of silage And then one bale of straw. Straw is kind of a filler. We don't need to add straw if we don't want to. But the fact is that it basically extends our food a fair bit. So if you have it on hand, then why not go ahead and add it? And I could also put loose material in here if I wanted to. There you go. Now we have 16,000 liters of total mixed rations. Pull up the F1 menu when we have this mixer attached. You're going to see we have a mixing ratio down there in the bottom of the F1 menu. So the mixing ratio basically tells us where our mix is. You're going to see three bar graphs, bars, and there's going to be arrows basically defining the range uh, for the proper mix basically we need we can have an even mix of silage and hay it works out that if you do one bale of hay two bales of silage and one bale of straw you get the perfect mix or you could do two bales of hay one bale of silage one bale of straw and have the perfect mix or you could just do two bales of hay and one bale of straw or no no Two bales of hay and one bale of silage or one bale of hay and two bales of silage and exclude the straw if you want what we're going to do is we're going to pull up here and then we're going to hit i now if for some reason you don't get the unload trigger check and see which side this is set to unload on right now it's set to unload to the left but right now it's set to unload to the right and i'm not getting that trigger you want to make sure you have it set to the right side I now you can see the food basically filling up in the trough as we dump it on the ground. And you'll see the food level here raising up ever so slowly. That only gave them 
a little under half of what they need. I'm going to mix up another batch of mixed rations and go ahead and top that off. Then I'll come back with you after we have advanced time a little bit. So an entire day has gone by now. I fast forward an entire day. See that we are getting some dirt that is accumulating here under our mixing wagon. Again, from our cows. I also went ahead and did a little bit of landscape painting and such around here. Just to try to pretty it up a little bit. See that we have a reproductive rate of 252 hours. Wow, that is a slow reproductive rate for our five brown cows. But our six black cow, black and white cows are reproducing every 210 hours. We'll have a next cow in 185 hours and 227 hours, respectively. We have 2,000 liters of manure, 2,700 liters of slurry, and 1,500 liters of milk. Our total mixed rations is down a little bit. Straw and water is down a little bit. So we've got plenty of food. What we do want to do is clean up our area. I had initially hooked up to our milk trailer, but let's go ahead and disconnect from that. Let's get our bucket. Clean up the area. Something rather interesting I want to show you about the food waste for our cows. Remember, we fed them total mixed rations. Correct? But our food waste is silage. So no matter what you feed your cows, your food waste will be silage. It's a little annoying because as I've described how food works with cows is if you feed total mixed rations, They'll, in effect, never eat silage. If we were to dump this back into our food trough, it would just sit there and never really get consumed until we let the total mixed rations run out. What we can do is we can put this in our mixer and use it towards our total mixed rations. That is kind of a little bit of a trick and a hack on that. Now let's take a look at milk and basically where we would sell it. Got our milk trailer here. the side into our milk trigger. We're going to hit R to fill our milk. And if we look at the prices screen, we're going to see that milk is going to be available at several cell points. Port, South, East appears to be the best. I'm going to go to the grain mill because it is fairly close versus driving all the way down to here. I'm just going to tag it once again, just so I can get a good visual idea of where it is. There. I see a road going in that general direction. I think I'm going to take it. I'll be back with you once we get there. Once again, 
just like our chicken video if you saw that sell our milk we need to pull up here onto the grain dump ready to get the command on our milk and twenty one hundred dollars in milk sold Again, we, just like our chickens we don't need to sell our milk every single day unless we want to let it kind of accumulate for a little while or it accumulates depending on the size of the trailer you have you may have to make multiple runs at any rate that is kind of the basics of cows here on farm sim 19 until next time Happy farming. Be sure to like, subscribe, and click that notification bell.